Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in for this Paranormal Pit Stop. Tonight, we'll be exploring a historic luxury lodging located off of Southwest Broadway and Salmon Streets out of our own Portland, Oregon, that totes the motto of, where service is still an art, whose doormen are dressed in English beefeater costumes, and that even boasts a bronze sculpture of PDX's iconic English bulldog, Zelda, who is, might we add, also clad in a beefeater costume of her own. Rumored to host a range of restless spirits tied to past employees and guests who never really checked out. Are you sure you're ready to brave the history and hauntings of the Heathman Hotel? Historically, in 1926, the original Heathman, which was actually located a block down off of the intersection of Park and Salmon instead, was constructed under none other than George Heathman. Following a rapid rise in popularity, George would immediately set to work on a second sister Heathman, which was actually our current Heathman, that was completed in 1927 and would open to a formal ceremony on December 17th of that year. Sadly, in 1930 and at the young age of only 49, George Heathman would pass on, after which his widow Catherine and their two children would retain interests in the operation until the early 1960s, when George's son Harry would oversee the site until his passing in 1962. Over subsequent years, the new Heathmans earned prominence through the neighborhood would attract wealthy interests and developers, and by 1984, a $16 million renovation and modernization of the expanse had been completed, which included the moving of its main entrance from Salmon to Broadway to increase visibility, and in the prefix of new being omitted entirely from its title, as the old Heathman had long since been re-established. More recently, the Heathman would change hands a number of times until 2018, when it was purchased under Pebblebrook Hotel Trust in partnership with Provenance Hotels, who manages the site and who has since performed a range of renovations. In the present, the Heathman remains open to the public while acting as a highly significant historic site, offering a range of rooms and suites, a wide assortment of various works of art, a library filled with 2,700 books, a fitness center, dining and drink options, and even options in bike rentals. Chillingly, and not dissimilar to a good bulk of its neighboring historic sites, the Heathman has long been surrounded in stories of paranormal activity and of encounters with the inexplicable, and owners, workmen, staff, and guests to its bounds have reported a range of otherworldly happenings, including instances of towels or clothing found unfolded, seemingly used or scattered around locked rooms, of furniture discovered rearranged and under impossible time frames, and of drinks or glasses that mysteriously vanish from right under underneath patrons' noses. One popular local legend claims that all of the rooms at the Heathman that end in a three are especially haunted, cursed, or whatever. And often, from quarters fitting this bill, passers-by have reported hearing blood-curdling screams, threatening scratching noises, or loud thumps. Within, objects have been sighted moving around by themselves, television sets act on their own accords, shadowy manifestations have been spied in darkened corners, and a handful of absolutely terrifying accounts telling of instances in which guests have felt a cold old, unseen forms slip under the covers with them in the middle of the night. Notably, and for any of our thrill-seekers looking to stay in one of the hotel's most haunted rooms, within 503, several have told of a disturbing sobbing heard through the night and of giant balls of energy that zip about. In room 803, a figure has been known to appear at the foot of the bed. And lastly, 703, which is rumored to be the most haunted room across the expanse, is said to hold the restless apparition of a guest who leapt from the window and smashed through the glass of the library below, who likes to manifest to replay his final moments and plunge to the absolute horror of those below, only to disappear right at the point of would-be impact. Thanks for joining us on this Paranormal Pit Stop. If you enjoyed hearing our histories and ghost stories, subscribe to our channel, like this upload, and share us with anyone you feel could use a good scare. We'll catch you all next time.